With the list view, you have a scrollable widget in which you can place many widgets inside and then you can scroll horizontally or you can also scroll vertically in your list view. Let's get started by creating here a list view. And the list view every time has some children and inside you can put a list of all of your widgets which should be scrollable. So you can put here one widget inside, then another one and another one and many more. So you can place here as many widgets inside as you want. And now we want to replace them with the most common widget in a list view, a list tile. So instead of this widget one, we put here a real widget inside a list tile and then we also do it for the other widgets and also this here. And now you see that we have here the three text inside of our list view. In your list tile, you also have the possibility to add another field subtitle. And here you can also put a text inside and then you have here this gray text under it. And you also can add here a leading and here you place normally an icon inside. So you choose here one of the icons of this icons data. So you have here a wide choice of icons and I choose this icon here. And if I hot reload it, you see that we have here in the leading place this icon and we also can add a trailing icon. So here I put another icon inside and this goes then here to the end of this widget. And you can basically put it then also to your other widgets. So here in the list tiles, I also put a subtitle and also a leading and trailing property inside. And then you can design here your own list tiles and put them into your list view. However, you don't need to put here every time a list tile inside. You can also put here your individual widget inside. Let's also put another list tile here inside. And here you see that we only put the leading icon inside and a title. And if you also want to have the interaction of this list tile like this, if I click here, you see that it is showing the interaction. And every time it says here deleted pressed because we have set here this on tab handler inside. And then every time if we press here, we can have an interaction and the other items have not this interaction. Now let's look at a second example and therefore we go here to the list view vertical and here we want to build a list view which has many items so that we also can scroll. So let's create here the list view and here you also have some properties inside so you can choose here builder custom or separated and we want to choose right now a builder and this is a little bit different than the one which we had before. Here we do everything with the children and now we use here some other properties. So basically we want first of all to generate a lot of items and therefore we put here a list and call generate and we want to generate 70 items and then we get here the index of each item and generate 70 items and every time this counter index is going here inside so we have items from 0 to 70. And we start here in the items list and now we want to use these items in our list builder. So we need to define for each list how many items are inside of this list. And therefore we call here the items dot length. So we call here how many items we have in our list, which we want to put here inside. And then we call here our item builder so we can build each individual item. And therefore we get here an index. And with this index, we can then access the item of our list. So we simply get the current item by going over our items list and put here the index inside which we want to access here. And then we simply build this item. So in this case, we build a text and put our string variable there inside. So it's exactly the string variable which you see here at the top with every time a different counter. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here all the items inside and I can scroll here through and we have here 70 items inside. And to make it a little bit more appearing, we put here also list tile around and put it into the title property. And now you see that the items are much more visible and that's great. You can also easily put here a separator between these items and therefore you have here next to the builder also the separated. And now you also have access to another field which is called separator builder. And here inside you can put a divider. So this is a widget to actually put here a divider in between. 
And if you don't see it really clearly, you can also change the color of it. So you have here the color property and can set it, for example, to a color of black. And now you can clearly see this divider between each of your items. Now you might question what is the difference between this builder separated and also this normal one without anything. And the thing is that if we have a lot of items which we want to build here in our list, so let's say we change this counter right now to 2000, and then we have here actually 2000 items inside of the list, and it's a lot to build for Flutter. And if we call here the separated or builder constructor, then this is much more memory efficient because Flutter will only build these items which are currently visible on the screen. So right now he will build these items which you see here right now and the other 100 or 200 on top he will not build and also all the items after it he will not build. Only if we scroll here through then he will build them. And therefore, if you have really large list, make sure that you put here a separated or builder inside so that you build here each item individually. Now let's also look at the last example so that we have a horizontal list. And by the way, if you want to check out the source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient Flutter developer. Now we build here a new list separated and this time it should be scrolling horizontally and therefore we use here exactly the same thing like before. We put your separator builder inside, we put our items count inside, then we want to build our items and then we get here a single item and we also want to add here some padding and I will later show you exactly what this is doing. And we also can set here the scroll direction to horizontal. And now every time the items will be scrolled horizontally and not vertically anymore. So let's finish this here. So we put here text inside and then we also wrap here a container around. And now it looks like this. So here we have all the items and we can scroll horizontally and this doesn't look right now really good. Therefore, I have put here the container inside and inside of this container, you can set a margin to the right side. So you can add here some space every time between the items to the right side. And we put here a space of 16 inside. And now we have here some space between our items. And the padding is this space around our widgets. So you can change it and then you see the effect. So we get here more spacing around our widgets or you can also put it to zero, then you have no spacing around your widgets. And you can also use in your container an alignment, so you can align it to the center. And if I do this, then all the widgets are here in the center. And like you can see, then we have here also the scrolling and you can scroll here everywhere on the screen and see it directly. If you have other widgets on top or on the bottom, then it might be clever to also restrict the size of this list view because right now it tries to take the whole size. And if you have other widgets, it doesn't work. So you put your container inside and then you can set a height, for example, 100 pixels. And then we have your 100 pixels actually for this whole list view. And now we can also place here other things below. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!